Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Ultimate General American Revolution. We're swapping these ships around. We want to repair the repair the fleet that's quicker to repair first, and this little army. I'm gonna send them to Hatfield. Start preparing for an assault up north. It is. It'll be winter soon, but that's fine. Let's. Okay, everything's looking good. Oh yeah, I can't be search. Freaking, uh, what you call it? Low officers. Hey, day takes over. Let's sell some furs. And a ship. Let's do the Bly. Bye bye, Bly. Okay, that's good stuff. We definitely need more officers, though. Gonna get this army in Hatfield and we will prepare them for the attack, but there is enough space in Fort Tikindoroga. Let's up priority in Fort Tikindoroga. Let's speed up this research. And let's march them into Fort Tikindoroga. Now, in terms of research, what can we research here? Yeah, we'll research Dragoons. And while we're in here, let's... Benedict Arnold, thank you. We're gonna leave the garrison. We're gonna ride in this direction. Okay, that's quite a few fleets. I'm gonna have to clean that up eventually. See, we're doing good in production. There our little army goes. When they're in Fort Tikindoroga, we're gonna give them some time to recover. Why are you so low? Mm, let's replace you with three pounders. Let's send these guys to Fort Saratoga. Bring up some supplies for our future action in the north. And you are going to be prepared in a few turns. And then we can send this fleet back to get repaired. Only 50% loyalty though. In this region. That does mean we're gonna have to leave. Oh, some more low officers. Good. These guys might almost be repaired, but they don't have the officers. We also have some goods we can use. To upgrade some buildings. We're taking the Doga slowly getting some more men. Uh, 
And let's take a quick look at goods. Yeah, we don't have any furs. Okay. We have a decent amount of ship's cannon, however. Good to have just in case. Okay, let's see. New Haven has more men. Let's sell that fleet over there to repair. And I'll take a wee look at Fort Frederick. How is their garrison looking? 2,300. Maybe we'll take the... The... Militia regiments from Fort Saratoga as well. I'd like to keep a unit of militia there just for defense. And I definitely want to keep one here just in case of um, revolution, let's call it. Mostly repaired, but is missing the crew required. Although when these guys are recovered, they will have a lot more men. Well, a lot more, a decent amount more men. Okay, what do we get? Brown buses. Okay, that doesn't hurt. Not my primary arms, but... I don't mind. Come on, everyone, join the garrison. Oops, don't fall back. Join the garrison. There we go. They can take some time to rest. You can join the garrison here. New Haven having a lot of troops. And we're gonna be pouring out, yep. Formation of the Congressional Congress, okay. That's, I don't know what that means. I could have read it, maybe I should have. Too late now. Let's see. Produce another mine there, yeah. I need the wood. Anti low rank officers, I also need that. Although our main fleet might have enough crew with our current amount of low rank officers. Okay. You don't have anything interesting. The rest isn't fully under our control. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. Wouldn't like it if these guys got more troops their way. Oh, there we go. Research done. Go ahead, continue researching brown buses. Still not have... You still don't have the crew? Okay. New Haven has a lot of men. Hey, 
They have the crew now, we just need to repair. How many are we talking about? 2,858. Okay. Which you have civilians. Brown Bess, United States, United States. Okay. We are going to go for an offensive. Right now in Fort Frederick. And Arnold will be in charge of this battle. We will kick them out. And then we will take a moment to recover again. I'm not in a hurry up here in the north. Well, I'm not in a huge hurry. I do have a timer. We still have 350 days. So if that's 100... Uh, 50 days per settlement, let's say. Then we still have it done within the time limit. That's six, uh, seven days, uh, seven campaigns per city. That would give us time to recover our forces and all of that. Oops. But for now... Let's just take things low and steady. Gonna form up here. And then we will make a... Make more decisions. Based on what the enemy does. And it seems that the enemy is going to attack us. At least some limited amount of units. So we shall be prepared for that. These guys are in quite loose formation. Uh, let's hold fire. Just... Don't want to waste stamina. Let's pop these guys on the left. Let's, let's give them a wee run. I want to get them in position before the enemy engages us. You don't need to run anymore. Neither do you. And neither do you. Okay. Open fire. Enemy is close enough. Go. I guess you guys are allowed to open fire immediately as well. There you go. We're starting to shoot at them. I love canister in the morning. Okay, hold the line. Beautiful, beautiful canister shots. Keep on marching. Okay, there's some canister for him. Let's move this flank up a bit.
Just slowly push towards the enemy fort. I wonder if the fort, the enemy sallied out because of how small the fort is. It is a quite small fort. Are you gents going to shoot at the skirmishers? Yes, you are. Good, good, good. There we go. All right. Let's move you into the forest here. The rest will wait a moment. We're just going to remain cautious. We're in no hurry. Definitely shoot that close unit though. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful canister shot. They have some mortars. Okay. That's not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. Mortars are better for fort, after all, fort work. That doesn't mean they can't hurt, because they certainly will. It's just that they're better served in different positions. Than what they are currently employed in by the enemy. Hey, push on. And by push on... Charge! Where did you surrender? There. Get him, boys! Eliminate the cannon. Beautiful mass assault. Don't, don't shoot at our guys. Fall back. Just take a moment to fall back. We are not in a hurry. Taking our time, doing what is necessary for victory. Let's hold position a bit, just rest for a few minutes. You guys will start to push up a bit. Let's order... Uh, let's hold. Let's hold for a moment. Like I said, we're not in a hurry. So I don't want to put myself in a position where I will get devastated by a like canister or something. Let's march you further north. Uh, yeah, that's north. Let's march you up a bit. Hold the line, gentlemen. Hold the line. Oh, 
Oh, I don't want you to run. Leave the running for now. Okay, so they are holding the fort. So that is important information. So before we assault the fort, we certainly have to eliminate this army here. Let's have you guys hold fire for now. Save the ammunition for attacking the fort. Okay, let's charge in. Eliminate the cannon quickly. We just ran into some grape shot, didn't we? We 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 most certainly did. Okay, good. And shoot them. Good going. How's the situation here? Good. All right. Let's take these cannon. And let's move them a lot closer. Let's... Just reposition all of our men. Let's grab these guys, however. To take command of some cannon. The siege is going to begin of this little fortress. And we're going to just envelop them. Let's get all of our prisoners together. Just pop them behind the cannon. Let's pop these guys behind the cannon for now as well. They have a lot of men in this fortress. Just take our time. There we go. One unit of cannon. Where's our other... There's our other skirmishers. What kind of cannon is this? Expander field gun. Okay. And you have... 8 inch land service mortar. Can we see their range? Let's maneuver you something like this. For now, hold fire. You guys march into the woods here. We'll have three of you, uh, yeah, three of you go on this flank. Three of you go on this flank. One, two, four. Continue down on this flank. Where's... Okay, the cannon are slowly moving. Okay, definitely want to move you up a bit more.
Okay, you guys can all open fire on this guy. Including you. Just try to kill him. Hey, good going. The routing. Yeah, this position is fine. All of you guys. Shoot that wall. You guys march on a bit. I do wanna um, surround the fort and just squeeze them from all sides. You up a bit as well. But we're not gonna be in a rush about it. After all, they're not in a rush. And it's a fort. I kind of don't want to lose a lot of men senselessly assaulting a fort before we are ready to assault. Which is why I'm spending some time right now just bombarding them. And getting my men into position. And luckily we can still shoot even if we have low ammo, it just shoots at a way slower rate. Our mortars are doing their work. Which kind of cannon do we have here? 12 pounders, 3 pounders, okay. Kind of wish they wouldn't run away yet, we haven't enveloped the enemy fort yet. So part of the reason for enveloping is if at any point the enemy decides to run away, we have troops in position that can counter them. Like they'll try to run, but they'll just run into our troops and we will slaughter them. Let's move you two units into the woods here. Two units into the wood there. Slowly moving into position. Let's move our mortars up a bit. Okay. Move this infantry up a bit. Cannon doing their best. Go. Almost done surrounding the fort. Like I said, we're not in a hurry, however. Taking our sweet time. Oh, let's make sure they hold. Reduce casualties. Let's send him over. Or this group over there. March you up a tiny bit. We don't want to march them up so close that their infantry can fire upon us, but... We do want to have them entirely surrounded. Ooh, that's a beautiful mortar shot. Go. And hold. 
can hold. Oh, beautiful. We have two routing units. Hopefully they route in the right direction. Port is still well within range of our orders. Okay, let's hold position. Hold position. And when he's in position, we'll hold for maximum defense. There we go. Now we just bombard them. All of our men are in position. We will take some attrition from the cannon fire, but those are casualties I'm willing to take. Come on, infantry, just run away. Are these... Ah, oh, poor Hiram Bowie. Anyways. Uh, let's move up our cannon a bit. It seems like our cannon aren't really firing. Or some of our cannon, rather, isn't firing. For whatever reason. They were there like five seconds ago. What a shame. Right, Let, let's hope they'll fire now. Otherwise, I will be decently disappointed in my men. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. The full power. That only... Okay, that's three guns. Or four. One, two, three. The four guns. This fort will take a lot of damage in this siege, but I don't plan on using this fort as actual defensive structure. So that's not a big deal, I think. Ready. There we go. Slowly whittling them down. Can we all shoot at this guy? Oh, he's running away. Cannon are running away. Again. I think it's time to start the squeeze. So the squeeze is simple, just... Slowly move up troops and start squeezing them. You are close enough as it is. You move up a bit. And you just do it slowly, step by step. Of course, that artillery unit does make it a bit more difficult. Let's see if we can eliminate that difficulty. Okay, let's get the squeeze into position.
we go. Excuse me. Okay, the squeeze is being squeezed. Let's move you more like so. Move you more like so. Continue squeezing. Artillery battery surrendered. Good. Good stuff. Keep on squeezing the squee. Someone surrendered. It looks like they unsurrendered immediately. Go. Another surrender. Another surrender. Another one, and another one. We can DJ Khaled over here. Let's just make sure to take things slowly. We don't want to take unnecessary casualties. There we go, the routing, that should cause mass surrender. Well. If he doesn't want to surrender, I guess. Okay, we have some research done. Good. You down that line. Let's set send the Paragon to Fort Frederick. Barely took any casualties since he was mainly in charge of cannons, so that's good for him. It's still repairing. Almost done, maybe one more turn. Anyways, Murphy will send to Fort Tikindoroga. These guys will spend some time to recover. We will capture some goods. Didn't I tell you to join Garrison? Let's see, let's make sure you have enough guns to switch to. Because that is going to be a thing. Okay, we'll worry about that in a bit. We've captured Fort Frederick at least. And some more guns. Now we just need more men up north. I do want to capture those goods, however. We'll send Arnold to scout uh, Fort St. John's, since that'll be our next target. I don't think we're going to move past Fort Frederick. Did that unlock? No. Fort Tikindoroga. Not listed. Can I? Doesn't look like I can. I want to boost like loyalty here, but it doesn't look like I can. Uh, we don't suffer from lack of ammunition. We will build the fur trader's house here soon, though. Okay, that is more guns. Oh, 
So if you have brown besties, you are kind of guaranteed to get reinforcements as it is. Okay, that'll be a decent enough possibility for an assault. Well, for now, uh, let's call it. So thank you all for watching. I do hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe and all of that. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.